I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you I've not yet had the opportunity to meet, I'm Kelly Flagler, principal of Athena High School. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to Athena's 48th commencement ceremony. Before we begin today, I'd like to give a special thank you to our vocal students, Dominique and Jessica D'Amico, who performed the national anthem, and to our district JROTC cadets, for leading the Pledge of Allegiance. Additionally, our superintendent, Ms. Kathleen Groutman, has been an enormous support for our students and staff this school year. Her daily work is focused on supporting the success of all students and adults in the Greece Central School District. We are honored to have her open up our ceremony today. Welcome. I'm truly honored to share this special day with you and to welcome parents, extended family members, and friends to this virtual commencement ceremony honoring our class of 2020. I also wanna thank all of our teachers, staff members, school leaders, and Board of Education members for their service to our schools and community. Each person joining us should feel proud because you've contributed in some way to a student crossing the stage today. I thank you deeply for being here and for helping all of these students reach this goal. Bravery, the quality, or state of, the quality or state of having or showing mental or moral strength in the face of danger, fear, or difficulty. I select a theme each year to introduce on opening day with teachers and to connect and anchor into throughout the year. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine how appropriate this theme, bravery, would be when I selected it back in August. I shared in a graduation card that I recently sent to all of our seniors that you have been robbed and cheated. Many of you have felt fear, anxiety, worry, and anger all at different points this spring. I recognize and appreciate that, however, my remarks today will not focus on COVID or all of that loss or disappointment. My remarks today will focus on your resiliency, compassion, and your bravery. That is what you have that's what you have demonstrated, and that's what I will remember about the class of 2020. I think that many of us thought COVID-19 would disconnect us. The concept of social distancing, the physical separation, wearing masks, I hate it all. However, our Greece students have served as models. They have remained connected by showing empathy, staying engaged, and showing strength and love. Some examples that I can list offhand are how our students have raised money for the Grease Food Cupboard, how they've brought meals to neighbors, how they've written cards to folks in our nursing homes near, nearby, they've written positive songs to help lift each other up, up, and they have brought gifts to their teachers. They have taken care of siblings and relatives. I could go on. 
like I said, compassion and resilience. I'm a mom, and when I had my girls, I remember holding them in my arms in awe. I remember how my heart felt, and I vividly remembered my hopes. I hoped and prayed that they would always be healthy, that they would be happy, and they would grow up to be good humans. And that is what I hope for all of these kids. I didn't wish for them to be the prettiest or the best soccer player or to get a scholarship. Simply health, happiness, and humanity. Sounds simple, but not quite. To be happy, you need to be connected to things that you care about and enjoy. You need to feel needed, and you need to feel like you're making a difference. You need to have purpose, to love yourself, and to give love freely. To be healthy, you need to care for your body by eating well, exercising, being mindful, caring for your mental health, and ba balancing your life. Much easier said than done. And to be a good human, there are a million definitions. But to me, think about how you can impact people and your community. You will find a way, or will you find a way to fight for the rights of others, dismantle racism, sexism, help the environment? Will you care for vulnerable children or the elderly? The opportunities are endless. You're entering a completely different phase of your life, graduates. A phase that affords you the choice and freedom about how do you want to spend your life. What do you want to do for a job or a career? Who do you want to spend your life with? You get to shape and influence our community and our world. We are counting on you to make our world a better place. Some of you may be excited and thrilled, some hesitant and some even terrified. I can assure you, you have worked hard, you've learned important lessons, and class of 2020, you are ready. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the Greece Central School District family, I extend congratulations to each and every one of you for a job well done. Go be great, class of 2020. Thank you, Superintendent Groutman, and thank you to the families and friends who have helped our graduates get to the finish line. Now. Allow me to take a moment to thank the distinguished guests who were part of our ceremonies. Many of them spent hours on stage and behind the scenes to honor our graduates. President of the Greece Central School Board of Education, Mr. Sean McCabe. Vice President of the Board of Education, Ms. Terry Malore. And board members, Ms. Tracy Farmer, Mr. Bill Maloney, Mr. Robert LaPlaca, Mr. James Sowers, Mr. John Sawicki, Dr. Sharita Trawick, and Mr. Michael Velicenti, and also Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Kathleen Groutman, and members of the Superintendent's Cabinet, Dr. Catherine Colicchio, Mr. Romeo Kalili, Dr. Valerie Payne, Mr. Jeremy Smalleen, and Dr. Michael Zaffitz. I'd also like to thank the Greece Athena administrative team, assistant principals, Mr. David Hoffman, Mr. Mason Moore, and Ms. Jen Ficarella, and our director of athletics, Mr. Josh Lacey, as well as our advisors for the class of 2020, Ms. Nicole Berardo, Ms. Amy Leppard, and our clerical staff, Debbie Bauer, Cheryl Hugh, and Jewel Dieter. Thank you all for, you, for supporting the class of 2020. One of the traditions of Athena High School is to hear from our students at graduation. To continue to honor that tradition, I present to you valedictory speaker, Ava Velkovic. Growing up at one point or another, we all looked up to our favorite actors on television. Whether it was Disney Channel or Nick at Night for the cool kids, we had a vision. Some may say 2020 vision, a crystal clear image of what our high school experience would look like. We all imagined intimidating seniors who would stuff us in lockers or steal our lunch money. We imagined crazy sports games with huge fan sections and cheerleaders flipping all over the court. We were scared of detentions and heartbreaks, yet longed for the most memorable moments with our friends. Homecoming dances, games under the lights, Spirit Week, Halloween parties, and prom. They were all things we desired. At the same time, we knew it would all come to an end as we watched our favorite stars walk across the stage or even sing across in a musical number. They had goals and long-lasting relationships 
that they would carry through college or wherever they journeyed next. After growing up picturing this all our lives, we had hope and expected the same euphoric experience as seen on TV. Speaking to you here today, our year clearly hasn't gone as predicted back in elementary or even middle school. Never would I have imagined I would need a mask to walk into Wegmans or a meter stick to determine the distance between myself and my best friends. Never would I have imagined that our senior year would be canceled, officially ending on Friday, March 13th. That Friday was a normal day in my book, walking into school on only five hours of sleep, exhausted from studying for my calculus test, and finishing my homework late after practice. I wanted to bring in donuts that morning for my physics class, but forgot as I was rushing out the door and grabbing my lunch. I told myself, I'll do it Monday, and focused on beating the 10-minute traffic delay that wrapped up and around the school. I went about the day same as always, keeping my head down in the halls, tuning out lectures, and trying to finish all my homework before I went home. I rolled my eyes and constantly checked the time, begging for it to move faster, longing for the comfort of my bed. When it hit 1.50, I quickly packed up my belongings and walked out of the school. At the time, the coronavirus was on the back burner, with my test on Tuesday taking up the most of my worries. My teachers had reassured that school would continue and shouted, see you on Monday, as I walked out of each class. So it was the stress. Little did I know, that was my last day of high school. A milestone everyone cherishes, moving on from your spontaneous teenage years to adulthood and responsibility. I didn't have the chance to hug my favorite teachers and the friends I don't talk to much outside of school. I didn't have the chance to skip school with my fellow seniors or prank the underclassmen. I didn't have a senior ball or clean out my locker officially. I didn't bring my physics class donuts um, that I promised on Monday. I didn't walk through the school one last time with appreciation and gratitude it deserves. We all did it. This feeling of loss definitely hurts for a while. Some days you forget and others remind you of the greatness you've missed. But if there is one thing I've learned from this whole experience, it's to never take anything for granted. Let no opportunity waste. I know this sounds cliche, but it's true. Our generation has experienced a loss through the virus with our high school experiences and even the tragic passings within our families. We know what it feels like to be stripped of memories and relationships. Out in the real world, minus the virus, this happens every day. Someone loses a job, divorces their spouse, suffers a tragic accident, and so on. If anything, we are more prepared for what this feels like. No matter what, loss happens. We just need to look at each day separately. Every day is a new day, and there is opportunity everywhere. Stay out late with your friends and have the dessert after your meal. Go to another party or wake up early for a sunrise. Life is what you make it. Yes, it's great to work hard towards success and achievement, but not at the expense of these relationships and the great memories we build in these teenage years. You can make your life into the movie or TV show you watched when you were little. You could accomplish anything and do the imaginable. Your actions don't have to live up to the standards of this world and nothing you ever do will be perfect. But just remember you are the main character. It's all for you and your happiness. Don't lose sight of the fairy tale ending. So as we journey into the new chapters of our lives, I encourage you to have this outlook and take advantage of every opportunity thrown your way. As we've learned this year, time is precious and everything can change in the blink of an eye. You can either move forward and appreciate all the relationships and memories you've made in high school or sulk on what you've missed. But no matter what life goes on, appreciate the little things, take risks, and work hard as you desire without losing sight of the main goal, happiness. I thank you all for the memories we've made together and look forward to seeing you in a high school reunion in about 10 or 20 years, hopefully not six feet apart. Our class will forever be remembered. We did it, we graduated. Thank you, Ava. Next, we will hear from two salutatory speakers, Sana Speed and Bella Brewer. Hello, fellow seniors, parents, and friends. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, I'm not able to deliver this message to you the proper way, but thankful that you're still able to hear this. I've always thought roller coasters were fun. That was until I reached high school. These last four years have felt like a never ending roller coaster ride, filled with every fun, exciting, anxious, and fearful moment. My first day as a freshman, I was so nervous, but also excited. This is when all the seniors boarded onto the roller coaster. Little did we know this was just the beginning. Freshman year was my year to have fun. It was something new we didn't fully understand. Then our sophomore year, 
We made a twist and a few loops in a roller coaster. This year was exciting. We were close to becoming seniors, getting our permits, reaching an age where we had a little wriggle room with our parents. But this is also when many of us took our first AP exam. Just think about taking that AP World History exam, had my stomach in knots. I was so nervous and on top of that, we still had to take the World History Regions. This year we were also figuring ourselves out, still finding out where we fit in and who our friends were. This year was a milestone for us. We were halfway through the ride. Many of us were ready for this ride to be over. I know I was. Junior year was my year of being anxious on this roller coaster. I pushed myself to the max with some of my fellow seniors. I took four AP classes this year. Looking back, I don't know what made me take that many, but I honestly wouldn't trade it. It has prepared me and has taught me not to procrastinate. That was the lesson I had to learn the hard way. I learned after having to stay up all night taking chapter notes out of the textbook for AP biology. Adding on to the stress, we still had to think about passing the English regions right along with the US history regions to graduate. Then the very last loop on the ride this year was preparing for college and starting the SAT. The pressure was on while still trying to maintain a social life, work, volunteering, and other activities. When they say junior year is the most stressful year, they weren't joking. I made the most memories with my friends. The stressing, long nights of studying, crying, and laughing together made this the best year. Time flies. We finally made it to the last part on this long ride. This is the most exciting year, but the most fearful year of our lives. We're becoming young adults and getting ready to leave our little nest we've made at Athena. Senior year was promising. It was filled with so many givens. One of the best memories I made this year was the night before the pep rally. We went to the gym to decorate our side for the pep rally. If you were there, then you know we had some hiccups, but even with the problems we had, we still made it fun. I just knew this year was going to be special. Little did I know it was by not in the way I intended it to be. We reached the point in the ride where we choose our new nest for the next four years. I'm proud to say I will officially be starting my new nest as a great dame at the University of at Albany in the fall. This decision doesn't come easy for any senior. This is a lot of pressure. This is the first time in our lives where we get to pick our next chapter. After we got over this loop, we were still on a long, shaky ride. We were getting ready for prom, planning our senior trip, senior pr prank, and graduation. Then March 13th, 2020 came. Our roller coaster ride was cut short. Stay buckled in, the ride isn't officially over. This was our last physical day of senior year. Due to the coronavirus, we were forced to go into social distancing. With all the lessons I've learned, the coronavirus has taught me the most valuable lesson. Nothing is a given nor a promise. Everyone thinks that senior festivities are a given, but it's not. With this, I've learned to never take anything for granted. I wish I valued my time with my friends and peers. For most of my fellow seniors, March 13th was my last time seeing them. We have now entered a very confusing part of senior year. This is where the ride is ending and the brakes start to stop, so the ride is moving forward, but also pushing back. Due to social distancing, we were forced to, to start online school. This is the part that's pushing us back. No one wanted to end their senior year online, but it's something that we had to do. But at the same time, we were moving forward, finding alternatives for the events that we were missing. Although this can never compare to what we could have had, it's very special that Athena has gave us something memorable and has honored us. Last but definitely not least, we have finished our long four-year journey. It's time for us to get off the ride. The class of 2020 is special. This is a class to remember. We helped our community by participating in social distancing, even when we wanted to live up our last few weeks as high schoolers. We looked at the greater good. Staying in the house and using our technology to socialize has saved lives. I'm proud of the class of 2020. This is a story that will be told for generations. Now it's time to leave our Athena nest. It's time to close this chapter and start a new one, full of new roller coasters and opportunities. 
This seems like a sad time, but it shouldn't be. We are here to honor the class of 2020. I'm honored to say I'm graduating with this wonderful class. I wish that we all continue to grow and prosper. Remember, this is not the end, just the new roller coaster to find. Fellow classmates, we are the class of 2020, born during the national crisis of 9-11, the class that survived the windstorm of 2017, and the class that persevered through the legendary COVID-19 of 2020. But for some reason, we keep coming back stronger. Who knows what challenges are in store for the future? I mean, it can't be much worse. We did get through high school. High school felt like it would last forever until senior year flew by. I know that our class isn't traditional. We didn't get to do the senior prank or senior ditch day or senior ball. But one thing's for sure, our class will never be forgotten. We were never the type to follow the crowd. Why start now? Instead of focusing on what we didn't get to do, we have to focus on what our class has left behind. Not to mention the example we have set for future classes. We can't forget the championship games our whole school would go to and support, or the musicals that people would come far and wide to see, and of course the relationships we have made with one another. But high school is not always easy. Luckily, we didn't have to go through this adventure alone. Personally, I would like to thank my family, friends, teachers, and coaches who pushed me to limits I didn't even know I was capable of reaching. High school feels like it's everything right now, but in a few months, we're going off to the military, off to college, off to travel, off to start our careers. We are all off to start the next part of our lives. We can choose to take that extra step to become the best or take the easy way out. The next step of our journey is our chance to take what we have learned about ourselves and the people around us to become even better people in the future. This coming fall is our chance to reinvent ourselves with what we have learned and deciding what's most important to each of us through our own personal experiences and the ones we will continue to make. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be worth it in the end. This will be no different than taking our first step into Athena on the first day of middle school. We had no clue what was in store for us, but we got through it. Now, we are men and women, whether we realize it or not, we are ready to take on the world. Now as seniors on our last day at Athena, we are ending a chapter, but beginning a new chapter. We can't forget the memories we made here. Going through this pandemic has only made us closer as a class. We are not alone. We are all seniors graduating from Athena. We are all on our way to become successful. We are all the class of 2020. I wish you all good luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. It is with great pride that I stand before you as the principal of the class of 2020. Although our time together was short, I can say with certainty that we will remember the class of 2020 forever. Of course, we will remember you for your talent in the classroom, on stage and in, athletic, in athletics, which connects you to the legacy of excellence at Athena High. But your class, unlike any other, we will remember for the unique human experience we are living together. We will remember your spirit in the face of adversity. In the face of hopelessness, we will remember your voices speaking to the community about hope. In the face of grief and loss, we will remember so many of you expressing gratitude. You found joy in simplicity, you found meaning in disorder, and you found connection in isolation. But what continues to inspire me most about the class of 2020 is your moral compass. We will remember you always for speaking your truth. Not only will we remember the strength and conviction of your voices, but the Athena community is committed to continuing your legacy through our shared vision of equity. Your work will continue within and beyond our walls. At this point, you may expect a commencement address to share words of wisdom or advice as you begin your new journey. But you do not need that from me. 
the wisdom of hope, gratitude, joy, simplicity, connection, and truth are already ingrained within you. So instead, I leave you with my own gratitude. Thank you for your perseverance and your fortitude. Thank you for your patience and for your kindness. And thank you for standing up for what you believe is right. I have complete faith in the class of 2020. Now, go and be the change you wish to see in the world. It has been an honor. Congratulations to each of our graduates. And now the time has come for the presentation of diplomas. At this time, I invite Ms. Kathleen Groutman, Superintendent of Schools, and Mr. Sean McCabe, President of the Greece Central Board of Education, to come to the stage. I present to you Mr. Sean McCabe of the Greece Central School District Board of Education, the Athena High School Class of 2020. This class has met all of the requirements set forth by the New York State Department of Education and the Greece Central School District Board of Education. It is with great pleasure, therefore, that I present for the awarding of diplomas the qualified members of the class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Education of the Greece Central School District and upon the authority vested in me by the State of New York, I do hereby confer the secondary school diploma upon the qualified members of the class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. McCabe and Superintendent Groutman. We will now begin with the wording of diplomas. As you will surely notice, for the first time in Athena history, we will not be crossing the stage alphabetically. Graduates, please prepare to cross the stage. Andrew Pugsley. Pick up a diploma cover and stand center stage. Solange Dodabaye. <laughs> Joseph Garitti. You can take your mask off if you'd like. Gia Karajov. Rafael Santiago Rosado. <laughs> and she'll direct you in front of the balloon. Quentin Ingram. <laughs> Amory Gordon Halter. Thomas Joseph Zacks. <laughs> Kevin. 
Shannon Kayla Levesque. Shannon, you can pick up your diploma. Crystal M. Jackson. May Ree. Pick up your oh. Anthony Carrion. Nicholas Markowski. <laughs> Alicia Velasquez. Robert Brunetti. <laughs> Kasab Gautam. Leslie Nathan Cook. Justin Langdon. Joel Eager. Yuba Pradhan. Mm -hmm. Rafaela Luisa Shutt. Seth E. Romberg. <laughs> Joe 
Juliana Abdel Khalik Alamud. Brandon Lee Liempatha. <laughs> Chloe Cameron. Deshaun Perry. <laughs> Kurt Geilenfeld. Jonathan Jackman. <laughs> Gabrielle Lynn Anastasi. Gianna Liberti. <laughs> Quincy Johnson. Brooke Jackman. <laughs> Do it. Brennan A. Nuciola. Rashad Ahmad Howard. <laughs> Brandon Babers. Brianna Ortega. <laughs> Justin Kimball. Sierra Wemple. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Alexander Sherwood. Isaiah Anderson. Yeah. Alonzo Perez. Mohammed Hosseini. Angelica Maldonado. <laughs> Brianna Sicone. Aiden Kelly. <laughs> Mackenzie Grouse. Michelle Wody. <laughs> Emily Umbrino. Jordan Burrs. <laughs> Sylvia Pavuk. Bridget Sexstone. <laughs> Haley Carr. Isabella Curatalo. <laughs> Sierra Gazelle. Diane Gazelle. <laughs> Lucas Salimowitz.
Nathaniel Boganowski. Gavin DeVincentis. <laughs> Esma Serbeci. Brooke Bema. <laughs> Jacob Rowe. Megan Plaskasinski. <laughs> Zachary Geist. Kristen Ellison. <laughs> Noah Christopher Horn. Jasmine Berry. <laughs> Ryan Patrick Deneen. Caleb Amering. <laughs> Caitlin Deloria. Amanda Kalberg. Yeah. Morgan A. Melvin. Isabella Ford. <laughs> Brittany Marie Westveer.
Jaden Fleming. Amra Kapik. Spencer Terwilliger. Casey Lynn Cameron. Jade Ashley Talone. Tyler J. Curtis. Alexandria Giovanna Tori. <laughs> Asia Alexis Montanez. Jared William Sherwood. <laughs> Colleen Hathaway. Elizabeth Hathaway. <laughs> Brenna Bassett. Elizabeth Mellers. <laughs> Nicole Case. Therese Wright. <laughs> Elizabeth Blake Davlin. Robert Gilio. <laughs> Christopher Hogan. Khalil T. 
Mohammed. Lauren E. Lavelle. Brooke Ashley Heiss. Janir Turkoglu. Yaroslav Kalatov. Nathan Miner. John John Stefan Franz. Adam Brian Eberts. Connor O'Keefe. Sheila Dang. Alan J. White the second. Andrew Groover. <laughs> Jameer Green. Naima Shabna. <laughs> Naya Fatima Dawson. Rachel Chukwu. <laughs> Sean Mo. Lasun Ahmed. Ooh. 
Alexander Thomas Wilmot. Adam Pacana. Michelle Sweeney. Mark Van Dorn. Alexis Giambardino. <laughs> Anthony Hines. Andrew Gentile. <laughs> Francesca C. Martinez. Taylor Kenna. Do it. McKenna A. Patterson. Caleb Richardson. <laughs> Isabella A. Derubis. Ryan W. Hoke. <laughs> Trinity Merritt. Sayla Crawford Bellamy. <laughs> Haley Marie Roth. Farah Salem. <laughs> Stephanie Jackie Camacho.
Shamaya D. Morrell. Lucy Rose Stewart. Grace Bayoun Staub. Lauren Nursinger. Shaquan Hickenbottom. Layla Pena. Malaysia Ajane Lot Douglas. Go ahead. Tyler Marchione. Cameron Elizabeth Bader. <laughs> Kaylin E. Kirky. Brianna Accorso. Do it. Zachary Smith. Jenna Ibrahim. <laughs> Abby Carson. Shay Ranky. <laughs> Otman Belsign. Sydney Siriello Page. <laughs> 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 
Serenity Marie Providence. Alexandria Ray Short. Emily Marr. Catherine Lee Fianaka. Ariana Magna. Benjamin Moniel Jonagan. Trevor J. Agnello. Ashley Fagan. Emma L. Simpson. <laughs> Rita Gimray. Brittany Tandoy. <laughs> Vanessa McAvoy Gibson. Jenna Graham. <laughs> Haley Bikirk. Kelsey A. Nugent. <laughs> Juliana Michelle Rivoli. Michelangelo Mark Palumbo. <laughs> Madison Lockhart.
Joseph Aliyah. Madison Becker. Aiden Monahan. Travis Jaycox. Jillian Rayburn. Graduate DeAndre Newsom. Arshpreet Anasia. <laughs> Andrew Enzo Del Regno. Ainga Moore. <laughs> Do it. Babakar Tal. Rihanna Barney. Do it. Jessica Elizabeth Kelly. Brian in Tampania. <laughs> Tony McQueen. Samuel Sheldon. Graduate <laughs> Alan James Van. Ryan Coughlin. <laughs> Levi Kerr. 
Karuna Ratne. Jean Colazzo Santos. Liz Colazzo Santos. Allison Short. Do it. Jaden Walker. Dominic Fuller. <laughs> Josiah Andahar. Shelby Brady. Do it. Christian Sanchez. Lorenzo Johnson. <laughs> Jordan Williams. Savannah M. St. Louis. <laughs> Jay Rizzo. Asia Davis. <laughs> Thomas Cole. Mia Siegel. Sarah Benham. Lisa Lee. Woo! 
Zanasia Jones. Jermaine Barrington Nelson, Jr. Jordan Taylor. Brianna Bulis. <laughs> Justin P. Ah. Noel S. McKenzie. <laughs> Gisette Rodriguez. Anna Bletsko. <laughs> Danea Elaine Grayson. Julia Delusha. <laughs> Jazalyn Baker Trainum. Angelina Rivera. Claire Papke. Kiefer Austin Bryan. King. Madison Ryan Willis. Dominic Zoviman. <laughs> Bella Grace Brewer. Christine Burns. <laughs> Kate 
Terry Litz. Bethany Litz. <laughs> Josiah Ellis. Caleb Jonathan Hickey. Siasia <laughs> Miracle Owens. Kasim Gladney. <laughs> India Wyatt. Sana Speed. Deja Monet Alston. Alexis Angeli Windham. Haley Stickles. Taylor Greider. <laughs> Dominique D'Amico. Jessica D'Amico. <laughs> Caroline Rose Butler. Eva Velkovic. <laughs> Miranda Lewis. Andrea Rookie. <laughs> Matthew J. Lindsley. It. 
Nicholas Palmieri. Michael Alexander Loyacano. <laughs> Catherine McDowell. Anna M. Brooks. <laughs> Samantha Schwartzberg. Giovanni Garcia. <laughs> Shannon E. Thompson. Gianna Ipek. <laughs> Jacob Richard Cerrone. Jagger Joseph Nucci. <laughs> Ronald J. Vignari. Padulo <laughs> Sophia Ragonies. <laughs> Desiree Ingham. Congratulations again to our 2020 graduates. Many thanks today go out to our teachers and support staff who assisted with our graduation. A special thanks to Mrs. Deborah Bauer, Ms. Jewel Dieter, and Mrs. Cheryl Hugh for the organization of graduation and for providing loving and supportive offices to the class of 2020. Another huge thank you goes to the assistant principal Mr. David Hoffman, who has been a part of the class of 2020 for three years. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Hoffman to the stage for some final remarks. Good evening, class of 2020. I'm going to start by talking about a farmer. Having grown up on a dairy farm, I felt the following story would be perfect. One day, a farmer's donkey fell down into a well. The animal cried piteously for hours as the farmer tried to figure out what to do. Finally, he decided the animal was old and the well needed to be covered up anyway. It just wasn't worth it to retrieve the donkey. 
He invited all his neighbors to come over and help him. They all grabbed a shovel and began to shovel dirt into the well. At first, the donkey realized what was happening and cried horribly. Then, to everyone's surprise, he quieted down. A few shovel loads later, the farmer finally looked down into the well. He was astonished at what he saw. With each shovel of dirt that hit his back, the donkey was doing something amazing. He would shake it off and take a step up. As the farmer's neighbors continued to shovel dirt on top of the donkey, he would continue to shake it off and take a step up. Pretty soon, everyone was amazed as the donkey stepped up over the edge of the well and happily trotted off. If there's anything the COVID-19 pandemic has shown the class of 2020, is that life is going to shovel dirt on you, all kinds of dirt. The trick is to move forward, to shake it off, and take a step up. Each of our troubles is a stepping stone on this journey we call life. We can get out of the deepest wells just by not stopping, never giving up. Shake it off and take it step by step. So my advice, free your heart from hatred, forgive. Life is too short to remain angry and not forgive. You will always encounter many individuals who may or may not have the same ideals and values you have. That's okay. How you handle yourself in these situations will define the type of person you are and just what kind of character you have. Sometimes saying two simple words, I'm sorry, can go an awfully long way. Number two, nothing is a guarantee. Make the most of whatever opportunities come your way. As you found out, you can't always count on tomorrow. If you end up having to deviate from the game plan, that's okay. Explore the world, take a chance. Who knows what exciting things are in store for you. Keep your options open. Sometimes change is good. Number three, live simply and appreciate what you have. Look around you, at your family, your friends. Appreciate them. Always, always remember, if you think you've had it bad, there's always someone else worse off. It isn't always about the material things in life that make you happy, but the family and friends that you love along the way. Number four, give more, expect less. Pay it forward. The more we care, the more we listen, and the more we do for each other in the end, we will receive back tenfold. Giving should feel good. Say thank you. Those two simple words are so powerful. Life is about the choices we make along the way, regardless of the circumstance. It is never too late to make the right choice. It is never too late to make a difference in someone else's life. Aesop tells us, no act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. I will leave you with the following. Always give your best in whatever you do. Go forth and make each day count, no matter what is thrown at you. Love your fellow man. Forgive. Take time to appreciate what you have and the beauty around you. And remember to give as you've been given. If you can follow this advice, I think you will be happy, successful, and the lead a full life wherever you are and with whatever you choose to do. Oh, and the donkey? Well, he came back and bit the farmer who tried to bury him. The bite got infected and the farmer eventually died of septic shock. The moral of the story, do what's right the first time, because if you don't do the right thing, in the end, it will always come back to bite you. Congratulations, class of 2020. It has been a pleasure over the last three years to serve as your assistant principal. I wish you all the best.